Welcome to Interlagos, Sao Paulo. We hope you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon and we hope you'll stay with us for today's qualifying for the Brazilian Grand Prix. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? The teams will have arrived with all manner of parts designed to capitalize on the long straights. The cars will be that much harder to drive in the corners, but everyone will be in the same boat. is all set then for the race tomorrow. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Rosberg, Hamilton and Sebastian Fecker. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Welcome to Sao Paulo, which has been host to Formula One races since 1973. Sit back and relax for what's going to be a fantastic Brazilian Grand Prix. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7-mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical Sector 2, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. I'm joined again today by none other than Anthony Davidson, Tell me, Ants, obviously there's a lot of development work that goes on with these cars between the races. You've been both a test driver and a race driver. What differences are there in the way you approach those roles? Interesting question, Crofty. They're two very different mindsets. 
I mean, when I tested for BAR, we had full in-season testing where per driver you'd cover up to 15,000 kilometers per season. And in that role, it was more about working for the team, trying to help them improve the car and drive as systematically as you could so that that data could be analyzed in the most consistent way. When you're lining up on the grid for a race, however, your frame of mind's all about what you can get out of the situation on that day, and the car's the tool to help you achieve what you want. You still want to focus on setup, of course, but it's more about the here and now, getting yourself as far up the field as possible, and less about development work for the future. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Nico Rosberg is on pole position today after coming out on top of a difficult qualifying. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Bottas, Hülkenberg, Massa, and Jensen Button, Perez, Alonso, Roman Grosjean, and Sainz, Kvyat, Gutierrez, Rio Harianto and Pascal Wehrlein, Ericsson and NASA, Kevin Magnussen and Jolian Palmer rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
last position, front of the pack. Okay, the gap behind is 9.5 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Nico Rosberg takes over the lead of the driver's championship after that excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Difficult call, Crofty, but I'd like to say Sergio Perez. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that here today. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season.